Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new Engines of North America video. Today, we will be talking about the unique 12-wheeler, the Mastodon Steam Locomotive. Origins for the design of the Mastodon can be traced all the way back to the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. The B&O started to build a 480 centipede camelback steam locomotive. They wouldn't start work until the end of the American Civil War. However, the locomotive did prove itself and remained in service for almost 20 years. The first Mastodon engine proper would be built in 1882 when the Central Pacific Southern Pacific began testing the locomotive. The locomotive would be tested in the steep peaks of California's Sierra Nevadas. After testing concluded, it was clear that the Mastodon was a better puller than its smaller cousins, such as the 10-wheeler. Mastodon would be built by several different builders throughout the years. These include the Cook Locomotive Works and the Baldwin Locomotive Works. The Mastodon had a top speed of about 53 miles per hour, and according to the white classification, they were designated as 480s. This means they had a four-wheel front truck below the smoke box, eight drivers under the boiler, and no wheels underneath the firebox. Mastodons, depending on the railroad they worked on, had different tractive efforts. On the Laurel and Tullahoma, they had a tractive effort of 38,000 pounds. This could be due to the fact that the LT was a logging railroad and used lighter 64-pound rails. On the n and which was a well-known Class 1, their Mastodons were designated as M2s and had a tractive effort of over 50,000 pounds. They were the largest of the Mastodons and would be nicknamed Mollies. Mastodon measured in at 53 feet 7 inches and some units had an n w hooter for their whistle. They weighed as much as 447,030 pounds and due to their differential weights, they could only operate on rails with specific weights. For instance, the Norfolk and Western had heavier Mastodons than most, and thus ran their engines on rail weighing 90 to 100 pounds. A total of 20 North American railroads ran the Mastodon. They include, but are not limited to, the Norfolk and Western, Monon, and the Great Northern. While some units lasted only until the 1930s, the Norfolk and Western would continue to operate their units until the late 1950s. Despite the Mastodon having better tractive effort than its smaller steam brethren, they would alas be retired by the 1920s and 1930s. The reason why they were retired so early is due to their poor steaming and riding qualities. Fortunately, six of the 480 Mastodons still exist today. They include, but are not limited to, Southern Pacific 2914 at the Kern County Museum in Bakersfield, California. Norfolk and Western 1134 at the Rare Museum of Virginia in Portsmouth, Virginia, and perhaps the most famous one, N&W 475. It's not just owned by the Strasburg Railroad in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, but would also star in the first and only theatrically released Thomas the Tank Engine movie, Thomas and the Magic Railroad. In said movie, it'd be relettered to the Indian Valley and would make a trip to the Amtrak station in Harrisburg during rush hour. After the movie, it'd be re-lettered back to Norfolk and Western, which it sports to this day.